Okay, uh, this war, as you can see, did not start very well for us. Um, kind of came out early, uh, a lot of red on the map, and you're seeing a lot of gray on ours. So early on, uh, we had a number of guys uh, that were hitting uh, a little bit uh, above their ability level. Specifically, actually, the big problem we had here was dragons in the enemy CC, and we had a number of people who went into an attack without a plan to deal with the dragon, even though um, one of our guys, Ayaki, mentioned on prep day, we're probably going to see a lot of dragons, and uh, uh, put out a clan mail, I think, uh, I, I put out a clan mail, I believe, uh, telling everybody expect dragons in the CC, uh, you can't kill them with lightning and poisons, and sure enough, you had people uh, still attacking cities uh, without really any kind of a plan uh, to deal with dragons. So th that was a bit of an issue. But uh, as you can see now, uh, <laughs> as the war progressed, we're pretty much in control here. Um, the uh, new stars per attack were much better there. Average destruction much better. Uh, no, we don't really have a most heroic defense here. Uh, they do, I think, because we missed so many uh, early on. But uh, let me uh, pull the map up and go over a couple of the cities here. So uh, a lot of the problem we had this war, and it's not unusual, is getting the low cities clean. So uh, here uh, we have uh, one of our co-leaders, Hilly, uh, a TH9, uh, cleaning up one of the small cities. This one should have been cleaned up earlier in the war by one of our lower THs, but they were consistently um, hitting too high and not cleaning the city. So, um, Illy had no trouble with it. <laughs> As you see, uh, absolute uh, minimal effort here for a TH9 to clean this up. Uh, but this was, this was kind of what we saw early in the war. We thought we were going to have TH10s cleaning up TH7s. Uh, and it was almost that uh, that case, and I think the other one he cleared up here. Um, he cleaned, I guess, a six here. So, yeah, this was uh, uh, really a sign that uh, uh, a number of people uh, hosed up their early attacks, hitting a little bit too high and not cleaning up. And so, once again, our uh, co-leads had to step in and clean up the easy stars. So, I, you know, I, people in the leader room are familiar with me uh, talking about this. You know, we, we do not have this problem on my home planet. You know, people are used to easy. So, you know, you get hungry there, two animals walk up to you, one commits suicide, the other starts a fire, butchers it, kills it, and serves it to you. You know, the women pretty much never say no. Life is easy. We're okay with easy, but sure enough, Earthlings, I just don't understand them. You know, uh, they see something that's easy and go, "Oh, I don't want to do that. That's easy." Uh, so, uh, you know, we're—I don't think we're ever really going to bother with this planet. You know, there were some plans to move in, take over, uh, those kinds of things, but really, uh, you know, who, who wants this kind of stuff? Uh, so, yeah, you're—you're you're not even worth invading uh, some days. So, anyway. Uh, I guess it's a good strategy in that regard. You know, you get to keep your planet uh, by you know, just simply avoiding uh, easy solutions to easy problems. So, you know, you got that going for you here. Uh, but anyway, uh, this was actually a tough shot. Uh, Joja, uh, this is uh, Ayaki's small wallet. He really had to play this one well uh, to pull this off. So, as I said, mostly uh, showing the uh, low attacks and the cleanups uh, here early on. Um, Actually, Benny uh, did pretty well coming in clean for us. So this is a RZA's all. He ran a couple of uh, uh, primarily ground attacks uh, with a really big dragon uh, in his CC, I think, in most cases. So uh, here he comes. He's uh, got two heels. So I think he's playing like a TH7 here, perhaps. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, and solid attacks. Uh, throughout, kind of a um, Jiwi uh, attack, uh, but with some big air there as a sweeper uh, to help pick up. And nice job there, uh, Benny. So, 
uh, we'll uh, take a look up a little bit further. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so Matt uh, cleared this one. This is probably an eight. Or no, this is a seven. Yeah, so he came in and cleared for us uh, also. Uh, he knocked out an eight with his first attack. And, uh, and then, you know, the, the issue consistently in this war really was simply cleaning up the load stuff. Uh, Ike here mentioned it early in the war. Uh, we had these guys high, even though they had five TH-10s and we only had four. Uh, we, we had them high, and we spent, you know, a lot of our nines spent a lot of time mucking about with their nines, uh, not doing uh, particularly uh, well. Chris did clear the top nine uh, with a hog-based attack, and then he, we had like two guys, we had somebody else one-starred the seven, then he came in and one-starred the seven, then Harpole came in and two-starred uh, city number seven, so... Uh, and it was kind of nibbling away with it when really if we'd have cleaned up early, uh, we'd have had it in good shape. So uh, you rarely see uh, me show you my attacks in the war because I haven't really been playing very well. But uh, here's a, uh, this is technically a 9, but it's really, if you look at it, this is really a TH-8. Uh, it only has one air sweeper and three air defenses. So we should have knocked this city out of the water early on. But we one started, and I think uh, two started twice. Uh, you know, with drags four, it's a pretty straightforward run. So I was just kind of waiting for uh, the rest of the uh, crew uh, to come in and clean things up a little bit. So yeah, this was a really weird war setup uh, in terms of the layout. Like I said, we had four TH-10s. We had a lot more nines. So you know, if you're reading the more war map correctly. Uh, you'll see that it's not, and it should drop down and clean up. So this is, uh, I'll show you some of the high attacks. You know, we had the uh, quad quake working here, and um, this is um, Ike here. Uh, so he plays his quad quake a little bit differently uh, in that he starts the attack and then drops the quake as the attack's moving in. Uh, the other way is you basically open up with the uh, uh, quad quake, clear out, clear everything out. Uh, and then go from there. Uh, both of them seem to be working. So I'll show you another one. Uh, I forget it's Reaver or Swan. Uh, one of those runs it. Um, does quite well. But yeah, here you are. Uh, City 4. And 84% damage. Darn near 3 star to City with this uh, Quad Quake. And uh, let's see, what did we have here? 5. We had Reaver. So uh, Reaver's got his uh, uh, Dark Spell Factory upgrading. So he can't drop the uh, nuke quad quake on it. So um, jumped around, did the jump spell a little bit, uh, got the heroes in uh, late. This being the smallest 10, I uh, was able to uh, pick it off uh, with a uh, late hero rush. And uh, yeah, no problem there. And then uh, uh, the number one city up here. So this one was Swan. Uh, another quad quake. So Swan starts out, I believe, with the quake first. Yeah, blows it out um, and puts a pretty good dent in that mortar. As you would, you know, as we've been expecting, uh, there was a hound in the CC. So basically, it's a dragon uh, at TH nine. In most cases, TH ten. It's a hound. Uh, that's what you see. But with that quad quake and a uh, uh, couple of uh, uh, wall breakers to get through the outside wall really just opens the city up. So this is another design that just simply uh, doesn't work uh, since the advent uh, of the quad quake. Uh, so yeah, that's probably uh, a problem with. Uh, like here got one on this. I think he ran a quad quake also. This was a actually we'll go ahead and replay this. This was kind of a unusual city to run quad quake at. We've got the same problem with city number two actually. Um, you can open it up with that, but the problem with this one, I don't know if it's going to happen yet, it does, is this city was, it kind of has that V design, which is designed to suck the uh, golems in both directions, and that's exactly what happened uh, to Ike or here. So um, this one, I don't really know what the best answer would have been. It might have been 
doing the quad quake from um, the north side or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure here uh, on the answer uh, to this one, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, uh, the war is really in pretty good shape right now. Uh, so Ilkar hasn't shown up yet. He's got two attacks left. So uh, we've got uh, two, uh, hasn't been hit. We've got to pick up the perks on that. Three, we can improve. And one of the nines, uh, seven, is out there. So uh, Ilkar showing up can just about uh, close out the war at this point. So uh, it's obviously looking uh, pretty good for a win with eight hours to go. So uh, anyway, overall, uh, good war and uh, getting closer to Clan Perks 5. Cheers.